Hi, John here, and this is Up For Excel. I don't like the way this axis is showing at the moment with the year and a hyphen and QTR1, so quarter one 2017, for example. What I'm aiming for, which is this, I, I want this to sort of wrap on top of each other. Now, even if I wrap the text on here um, and do something like that and move it around, it doesn't, even though it's linked, it doesn't wrap on the chart which is a little bit unfortunate. What I'm going to do is just put a quick formula in here to manipulate this text and then make this my new axis so that I can use it on my chart. Now, this is gonna look like overkill because I've only got eight, eight columns on my chart, but if I've got numerous data points, perhaps I'm plotting a time series or something, I might have you know hundreds of data points, this sort of uh, formula can help immensely because it can save a lot of time. So I'm just going to quickly do that and I'll briefly explain what I've done afterwards. The formula in here, just to briefly explain, these ampersand symbols are basically merging the various different parts of the text together within the formula. So I'm saying Q and I'm using the right formula to pick up the the first character from the right in that cell, which is obviously going to be the quarter number. So that's going to lead me to say Q, in this case, one. Char 10 is, it allows you to access special characters that you wouldn't be able to type normally. And char, char or the character number 10 is actually a um, carriage return. So that will mean that we'll insert a new row, start a new row, and then the left four um, characters in the text is the year. So that's how that formula is working. And all I've done is positioned it down here. So now I want to, um, that is I unfortunately extended my chart somewhat. So I'm just gonna put all this back so we can get it on screen. So I'm now going to, change the data so that it picks up for the access axis um, instead of our original I'm just going to change that so I'm going to put edit and I'm going to change it to that so I'm going to do that that's okay hit okay on there and I'm going to uh, move that up and you can see now that it's automatically wrapping that text because we've got that carriage return built into the text within there. Now, of course, if you wanted to do that manually, you can go in here, click on where you want the, the line, new line to start and press Alt Enter. And that will give you a similar effect. And you can see on the original chart now. So that's how you would do the same thing manually if you're not into building these sorts of formulas.